and Gems Live coming at you with another video. The Ghost Pepper live stream is going to be going down this Saturday, February 4th, around 9 p.m. As usual, I'll probably turn the stream on around 8 o'clock. I'll play some video games for an hour to give people a time to join the stream. And then at 9 o'clock, I'll go ahead and eat the Ghost Pepper. Like I said, though, this Saturday, February 4th, aka the day before the Super Bowl, that's when the live stream is going down. If you do happen to miss the live stream, it's all good. I'm going to record everything and turn it into a video that I'll upload sometime next week. The reason I'm eating the Ghost Pepper during a live stream is because a while back, someone had mentioned that when I hit 250 subs, I should go ahead and try the challenge. I want to say that person was Panda, and he said that I should make a video of me eating the ghost pepper, but I decided to raise the bar and go ahead and eat it during a live stream. So this Saturday, February 4th, that's when it's going down. I appreciate all the support on the channel recently, and thanks for helping it grow to 250 subs. At the time of me making this video, we have 271 subs, and once we do get to 300 subs, I will be making the long-awaited Q&A video here on my channel that you all have been asking for. The Q&A video, that's going to be in the future, but let's just talk about the ghost pepper here in this video. I have been preparing for this challenge over the past two weeks. The first challenge video I did is where I eat a jalapeno and then don't drink anything for five minutes, and I completed that challenge. The second challenge, I went to Wingstop and got the Atomic Wings, which are basically the spiciest item they have on the menu, and I completed that challenge as well. Tomorrow, aka the day after this video is uploaded, I'm actually going to be eating the habanero. The habanero is heated somewhere between the jalapeno and the ghost pepper, somewhere here in the middle. Like I said, the habanero challenge video is going to be going up tomorrow. I have eaten habaneros before on food, just not raw, like plain by themselves. After doing these three challenge videos, I think I should be ready for the ghost pepper live stream, which as I said earlier on in this video multiple times, is going to be going down this Saturday, February 4th, during the live stream, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. That means 10 o'clock East Coast, 8 o'clock Mountain Time, 7 o'clock Pacific, and if you live somewhere else, you got to Google it. On my computer earlier today, I did look up some facts. I don't actually have the ghost peppers yet, otherwise I'd show them to you right here in this video. But I did go to Google just to get an idea of what they look like. There's two images that I found. One of them is like a bright red looking pepper, and the second one is a dark maroonish looking pepper. I'm assuming the bright red one is just like raw, and then the dark maroon one is like dried. Anyways, my boy Justin, he's in charge of actually getting the ghost peppers. He works at the grocery store in the produce section, so it works out perfect. He just asks his manager to order some peppers, so his manager will go ahead and order them, and then he'll have them in a few days. Plenty of time before Saturday. I was on my computer earlier and I decided to do some research about the ghost pepper, so I'm gonna give you all some facts. So it actually has a pretty funny name. It's called the Butt Jalokia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all, but at least that's like how I'm reading the words. Apparently it's supposed to be grown mainly in India. I don't know if it's grown anywhere else, but I did see like it's grown in India and like two or three different places on the web. It's supposed to be at least 100 times hotter than a jalapeno and it can get up to 417 times hotter than a jalapeno. And on the Scoville scale, the hottest ghost pepper ever recorded was 1,041,427 Scoville units. Scoville units are basically like the heat factor it has to do with how many liters of water can pass through the pepper until all traces of heat are removed, or at least that's my understanding. So a jalapeno scoville scale is a couple thousand, whereas the ghost pepper can get up to around a million. I found this pepper scale online that you're looking at on the screen right now. You can see the jalapeno, the scoville scale says it's a couple thousand, and then all the way near the top you have the ghost pepper that's around a million. At the very top you see what's called pure capsaicin. I believe I pronounced that correct, but basically that's what makes a pepper hot, the capsaicin. 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 It's pronounced some way. Not on this figure though is the Carolina Reaper. Now the Carolina Reaper I was reading gets about 1.5 million to 2 million Scoville units. So maybe at some time in the future when we hit like a certain target of subs, I will eat a Carolina Reaper live on stream. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and stick with the ghost pepper. I'm eating the ghost pepper on a live stream this Saturday, February 4th. I know I said it over and over and over, but I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over just to make sure you don't miss out. One last thing I was reading about the difference between a jalapeno and a ghost pepper is that when you bite into a jalapeno and eat it, supposedly the heat hits you like instantly. And if you go back and watch me eating the jalapeno during my video, my first challenge video, that's one of the things that I said, like the heat, it hits you instantly. The ghost pepper is supposedly a little different. People were saying the ghost chili tastes sweet at first and then the heat hits you over time and it just builds up and up and up and up and it can last up to 30 minutes. But that's pretty much going to be it here for this video. I just wanted to give you all the details on what's going down this Saturday, February 4th during the live stream at roughly 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Going to be eating the ghost pepper live on stream. 
I know most of you all are looking forward to it, and so are my brother Justin DeVito. If you haven't seen the Hot Wing Challenge yet, be sure to go check out that video and leave a like. Because when that video hits 200 likes, Justin's actually going to attempt the Hot Wing Challenge himself. That's going to do it for this video. I did have an Infinite Warfare gameplay playing in the background. I had a solid game on the map terminal, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. I figured it would be better to have a gameplay going on in the background while I was talking and showing you some stats, rather than just watching me surf the web and find stats. That's going to do it for this video, though. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New video is every single day here on my channel. I'm going to just live. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the live stream later tonight. Another video or the Ghost Pepper live stream going down this Saturday, February 4th at roughly 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Somebody to play, yeah. Take my song, put it on they play, and get goosebumps every time they play it. Wait, it's.